The, wow. the season's young. We're only six games in, so bear with me here. Damn, more treats. Who's your MVP of the season so far? Who has shown you the most thus far in this Young Tiger season? Flannel, to you first. Ah, all right. So to the shock of absolutely no one, I kind of teased it earlier. I'm going with Shelby Miller. Mm. Let's just look at the uh, raw numbers first, which are impressive in and of themselves. He has pitched six innings, zero earned runs. Four of them have been extra inning innings. Why is that significant? And Broder, you understand this as a former collegiate pitcher. How much more, how difficult was it for you if you ever had to come into a game with like, say a runner on second, nobody out? How much more difficult is that than starting off an inning with nobody on base? It's so much more difficult. Shelby <laughs> Miller has done that four times. And, and left the mound with zeros all four times. And let's look at yesterday's game one victory, by the way, and why it was so impressive for uh, Shelby Miller. I misspoke earlier. The Tigers and the Mets both went scoreless in the, bo in the top and the bottom of, of the uh, 10th. The Tigers went scoreless, and it was Shelby Miller who was tasked with keeping the Tigers in the game, not allowing the Mets to score and win. He did that. He allowed the Tigers to take the lead in the bottom, in, in, in the top of the 11th, get three runs, and then shut the, the, the Mets down in the bottom of the 11th, starting with the runner on second, which I get it, three runs. It's not that hard to save that. But, with, but if he allowed one person on base, the tying runs at the plate. So credit to Shelby Miller for that. But it also the 7-6 uh, win over the Chicago White Sox earlier on. Yep. The bottom of the ninth. That was Shelby Miller's. It was tied. He shut them down. And then... In the bottom of the 10th, after the Tigers had taken a one-run lead in the top of the 10th, Shelby Miller, again, with the tying run already on second, with the winning run up at the plate, shut the White Sox down. Got the, uh, I believe it was the win in, in, in that game. Yep. You don't get credit for the save, but those are two of the most impressive opening day, like opening week bullpen performances I can remember in recent memory. And Shelby Miller has been a huge reason why the uh, Tigers are where they're at right now. So my MVP for the first six games of the season is Shelby Miller. Yeah, I, I believe, I haven't checked the stats around the MLB, but I believe he's leading the MLB in wins with two. Yeah, yeah right. Two wins. It's it, two, and two wins. Before this season, he'd only pitched in extra innings three times in his career. He's done it twice already. So uh, Scott Harris, it's already paying off, my guy. Kool-Aid, MVP. Yes, I'm going to cheat here a little bit, okay? I'm going to cheat here a little bit. It's the bullpen in general, led by your guy, Shelby Miller. Hey. And, and I'm sitting here looking at the stats as well. Insane. ERA, 0, 0.00. Batting average allowed. Wait, they've given up a run. Points at Shelby Miller, though. Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, leading be. off with Shelby Miller. My point zero zero zero. It just kind of, he's he's more or less like what uh, Flannel pointed out. He's kind of the microcosm of the vigor, the macro, as it relates to this Detroit Tigers bullpen. On social, shout out to Travis. He's in the building, one of our social leads as well. We've been posting, keeping track of what this of what this bullpen has been doing. And just to know that, you know what, whether this team has gotten behind, whether it was a Maeda, just kind of one bad start. I'm not going to say he's a bad fit. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're good. brother over here. The bullpen has been something that we can look at as an absolute strength of this team. The bullpen is my pick, man, for the Detroit Tigers MVP, led by Shelby Miller. I love it. I love it. It's hard to go wrong there. You can pick just about any of them. My MVP so far, sorry, he doesn't play. He manages. It's A.J. Hinch. Hey. It's A.J. Hinch. You can directly we'll look at that. four games, if not five, of A.J. Hinch being the difference maker yes, in a win or a loss. You got to go with AJ Hinch. What he's been able to do, the buttons he's been able to press, the strings he's been able to pull. You hear him talk after the game. He's such a smart, just yeah. a smart human, and takes his analytical approach paired with the emotional intelligence of this young team, these young players, the balance of Mark Cannon and Colt Keith, the veterans and the young, the yeah. the, the the Matt Manning. The, the, the psychology behind getting sent down to AAA after having a spectacular spring has to then come up and pitch in the second game of a doubleheader. The first game you use up a chunk of your bullpen. Like, that's not easy to do, but they have no. so much faith in A.J. Hinch. The moves he's making are spectacular. Spectacular. That's a good one. That's such a good one. A.J. Hinch is, is somebody that I am ecstatic as the Detroit Tigers uh, manager right now. The way that he's just kind of making things happen with the bullpen, with the starting pitching, with the hitting, the batting order, it's like, hey, let's go. A maiden maid says MVP so far is El Mago. 
<laughs> he hasn't even been terrible. <laughs> terrible. KG. KG. Hey, hold on, Fado. You got something to say Whoa, to that? Whoa, I, I, I <laughs> mean. Did you see Fado's face? I did. It's, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it's so funny because people are going to brand me, especially on Big D Energy, the El Mago simp or something like that, because I Talk actually it, push man. back on Neil Rule when he just slanders him no matter what he does. Here's the reality. In the first game of the season, Javi Baez got on first, stole second, advanced to third, and scored on a sacrifice fly for the game-winning run. In the game, in the second game of the doubleheader yesterday, Javi Baez got the only RBI. In, uh, I believe it was the 5-0 win, Javi Baez had a huge sacrifice fly to, to extend the 10th yeah. inning lead from 1-2. to two. I'm not saying Javi Baez over in like in terms of the totality of the season has been great, but he's been a reason that you've been won a few games. And I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna deny that just because it's Javi Baez. I'm so with you, Flannel. I'm yes. so with you. Let's yes. go. And I got your if anyone comes at you, I got your back. You've never said he's good or he's he's some great hitter. You're just when he contributes to winning, you're gonna shout him out. Yes, I'm hey, not look. just gonna deny it or anything or no. act like it's insignificant. I'm objective, man. I think it's it's very, very fair because my expectations were much, 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 much lower for Javi Baez to the point that if he's contributing to wins, even I. Someone who's been like, you know yes. what, get him out of here. Get him out of here. I, even I got to be like, you know what, okay. All yeah. right. Whatever AJ Hinch is doing right now is working for this team, and they still have so much room to grow. I can't wait to see when these big bats, the ones that we are yeah. actually expecting things from, get going. Yep. That's the thing. The, the, not You could argue not one single hitter has really, like, played well consistently yet in a five and one season. Like there have been games where Urshel has hit well. Ibanez has just had clutch hits. We haven't seen Torque yet. We haven't Riley Green had a good day yesterday, but like it's still all coming together. They've got that bullpen though and that starting rotation. The pitching has kept them in it. I want to yeah. hear more of your MVPs in the chat. I just yeah. saw one that I loved. Uh um shoot, where did it go? Uh basically it said uh Jason Benetti. He called cut 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 out cardboard fans, uh, dystopian. So he's the MVP. I do think Jason Benetti has been fantastic. Also, Johnny Kane interviewed. I forget what the Max. name of the guy was. Max. Max. Yeah. Was it Max? <laughs> yeah. Interviewed him in the stands yesterday with of the, the Mets game with the locks. <laughs> it was a Damn. fantastic interview. It just it seems like this whole organization's coming together. Of course yeah. we're extra extra optimistic right now and this season to be determined how this season plays out but what this organization is doing including going and getting Benetti like we're headed in the right direction yeah. I can't help but feel optimistic about that it, you know what when you go out and you get a guy like Jason Benetti you don't want to be known as just your broadcast team I believe that the Detroit Tigers had expectations long before we started looking at what the AL Central was, what A.J. Hinch can do, and what this team is as it represents the kind of small ball, money ball era. They're put up in a position right now to absolutely need the voice of Jason Benetti. Yeah. They're going to prove it. Hey, and shout out to the Chicken Coop as well. They just brought out a big old thing of blue Kool-Aid. Shout hey. out to them. We got Kool-Aid? <laughs> you see it over there on the truck behind stick? They got oh. the big old blue Kool-Aid. Let's Go. It's going to be a day. Charles McClain, this is a good one. I would say Canna, not really for what he has done, but you can tell by the young Tiger hitters having patience. That is a Canna makeup all the way. Charles McClain, I love what you're looking at, man. <laughs> you're noticing those things. That that's what that makes me happy. Hey. Yeah, and, and I saw, uh, I forget who put the comment up, but they said if the Tigers, and I know we're a long way away from this, but I think it speaks more to what your MVP is. If the Tigers win this division, AJ Hinch should absolutely be manager of the year. Yes. <laughs> if, if, if they gave that award after six games, he would win it. That's yeah. not, not even close. Not even close. <laughs> not even close.